is a process where you cut an object out of the background. You can use rotoscoping to trace the path of an object, then use that path as a mask to remove it from the background. Although you can accomplish the same thing by drawing masks and creating a mat, this is a much more simple process. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the Roto Brush tool to create a segmentation boundary, create a new base frame, make adjustments to the segmentation boundary, use the Refine Edge tool, freeze the segmentation boundary, and replace the background of footage. As stated in the introduction to this lesson, rotoscoping is the process of removing an object from its background. To do that, you use the Roto Brush tool to distinguish the items you want to remove from the rest of the background. When you do that, After Effects will create a segmentation boundary between the background and the object that you're removing. We're going to remove the flower from this image so we can either adjust the color of the background without affecting it or add a new background. The Roto Brush tool will be used to create strokes to a base frame that will distinguish the foreground from the background. The base frame will be used by After Effects to apply the Roto Brush tool to other frames. Now go to the Tools panel and select the Roto Brush tool. Double click the layer that you want to work with to open it in the Layers panel. The Layers panel is grouped with the Composition panel. Now start to add strokes to the foreground using the Roto Brush tool. The foreground in our example is the flower. You can use broad strokes for the larger areas and then smaller ones for the border. To access the brushes, go to Window Brushes. You'll then see the Brushes panel. Select a brush size. If you've ever extracted objects from Photoshop, don't worry, this is a lot easier. Now draw a green stroke down the center of the flower. When we release our mouse, we see the areas of the flower that After Effects recognized based on our stroke. These areas are outlined in magenta and we've now created a segmentation boundary. If you accidentally have included some background in with the foreground, don't spend too much time trying to get it perfect. Instead, press Alt or Option to access the red background stroke brush. Add red strokes to the areas that you want to remove. When you're finished, click the toggle alpha button in the layer panel. The foreground is now white and the background is black. This makes the mat easier to see. If you click the Toggle Alpha Overlay button, the foreground will be in color and the background will be in red. If you click the Toggle Alpha Boundary button, you'll see the outline again. The Roto Brush spans 20 frames. There are 10 in each direction of the base frame. If you need to create a new base frame, go to the frame in the Time Ruler and define the segmentation boundary using the Roto Brush tool. All base frames are marked by gold rectangles in the Time Ruler. Once you create the segmentation boundary in one frame, the boundary will move with the foreground object throughout the footage. However, you may need to make some adjustments to the boundary. You can press 2 on your keyboard, but not the one on the numeric pad, to advance forward one frame at a time. Sometimes the segmentation boundary around your foreground image needs to be cleaned up. You can make it smoother with very little effort. To do this, go to the Effects Control Panel and increase the Feather Amount and the Reduce Chatter. The problem with the Roto Brush tool is it creates a boundary that goes around the general shape of the foreground image. It doesn't pick up small details. There may be times when you use the tool when you want to include wisps of hair in the segmentation boundary and other tiny aspects. The Refine Edge tool will allow you to do this. It's grouped with the Roto Brush tool. Once you've clicked on it, go to the clip in the layer panel. Zoom in if you need to so you can see the details that you need to include in the segmentation boundary. Set the size of your brush in the Brushes panel. Now move the Refine Edge tool over the edge of what you need to include in the segmentation boundary. Make sure you straddle the segmentation boundary as well. Here we've zoomed in and the image is pixelated, but it allows us to include the fuzzy areas. Once you release your mouse button, you'll see the Refine Edge X-ray view. You can see how the mat has changed. Zoom back out when you're finished. Freezing the segmentation boundary simply means making the data for it, so that it doesn't slow down your processor and, in turn, After Effects. To do this, click the Freeze button in the Layer panel. You'll then see a progress bar as After Effects freezes both the Refine Edge tool and the Roto Brush tool data.
When it's finished, there will be a blue bar above the time ruler in the layer panel that tells you the segmentation boundary is frozen. Next, click the Toggle Alpha Boundary button in the layer panel, then click the Toggle Transparency Grid button. You can now see the foreground without the background. Now that you have your foreground object isolated and a transparent background, you can add a new background. Click on the tab for the composition panel if you're still viewing the layer panel after creating a segmentation boundary. Go to the project panel. You can import another background and drag it into the timeline, create a solid color background, or adjust the current background. Let's grab the rectangle tool and create a background. If you need to, select the new layer in the Timeline panel and then go to Layer, Transform, Fit to Comp to make the new layer match the size of the composition. Whenever you add a new layer, don't forget that you can go to Layer, Transform and then choose an option to make the new layer match the size of the composition. Now with the newly added layer selected, you can go to Effect, Color Correction and adjust the color of the new layer until you achieve the look that you want it to have with the foreground object. Thank you.